Hey, um, Morgan here. I decided to start kind of like a, I don't really know what it is, but so far it's going to be like a YouTube diary kind of thing. Um, I just want to learn to become more comfortable in front of the camera in a different way. Um, I used to be terrified of all camera, everything, other than being behind one. And, um, now, you know, I, I've kind of, I, I've really pushed myself into becoming comfortable with, with modeling and, and posing for, for photos, but now I'm trying to branch out more and do the moving pictures thing. So, um, that's what I'm working on. I don't really know what I'm going to talk about yet. Uh, I, I have many things to say. I have many things I want to say. I just, I'm not sure how to say them yet. I'll, I'll, um, solidify those thoughts later, but um, I guess tonight I'll talk about this wine I'm drinking, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, Jacques Girardin Bourgogne. It's a Pinot Noir. I don't know where in France, Cote d'Or. I don't know France well enough to know exactly where that lies on a map. It's a Burgundy. Okay, so it's in Burgundy. Um, again, I, I'm not really sure what latitude that would be, but, or the longitude. Um, I've only been to the south of France. I've only been to Cannes, really. Um, and that's, that's definitely wine country, but it's not this wine country, apparently. Anyway, um, this wine is so interesting because it's a Pinot Noir um, that expresses itself like a much bigger wine. Um, and it's only a 2017, which is unbelievable because it drinks like a decade old red wine. Like it's at least 10 years old. Um, it's got mahogany leather. I mean, look at how, look at how thin, look at how translucent that is. And yet it has mahogany leather and old library books flavor to it even on the nose i mean it, it's it's both the nose and the palate um it's it's just gorgeous it's i've never experienced such a delicate wine uh, which is, pinot noir is the most delicate of red wines that there is um but it packs a punch like like a an old cab like like a like like an old Malbec or, well, no. Well, yeah, Malbec is actually originally French, which is uh, lesser known information, uh, a lesser known fact. Um, Malbec actually came from France and the uh, crop died out due to some kind of plague or something that, that wiped out all the vines. And then, um, but before that happened, uh, the, the varietal was taken to South America cultivated and it became it flourished there once the french variation died out and it was recent more recently i don't know how recently but somewhat recently taken back to france and restarted there but so anyway this is not a malbec <laughs> sorry to get off topic this is a pinot pinots are very delicate they're the most delicate red skinned grape there are um there is shit bad bad english but um yeah the most delicate red skinned grape there is is a pinot and it's very fickle it requires very specific terroir and atmosphere um it requires a cool current to sweep over the vineyard at night um i'll talk about that more sometime i, I learned how to make wine in tuscany in 2014 and um, it's unheard of to make or to grow it's unheard of to grow Pinot Noir in Tuscany because the Sun scorches everything unless you have a mountain nearby as this castle that I happened to stay at happened to have nearby they had a small and I call it a small mountain because I'm from the Rockies uh, I'm from Colorado but they had a, a modest mountain called Monte Amiata um, nearby that actually 
caused a, a cool current to sweep down over the valley of Castello Potentino uh, at night. And that's why they're able to grow Pinot Noir there as opposed to everyone else in Tuscany who can't really grow that. I mean, it, it's in very specific parts of Tuscany that you can do that and it, it's not very common. So anyway, uh, Pinot Noir is a very temperamental grape. It reacts to everything, it responds to everything. And um, the fact that this one turned out so characteristic, so spunky, I mean, it's it's got, it's got character, it's got pizzazz, it's got, no, those are all really flamboyant terms. Uh, <laughs> it's just got a lot of character to it. Um, drink it, go out and buy it. It's about, okay, I'm gonna show you again. Jacques Girardin, uh, Bourgogne, um, 2017. It's about $25 a bottle, um, a bit pricey for we millennials, um, but I'm actually not a millennial, I'm actually a zennial, but it's, it's worth it uh, for a special treat wine. Um, it's really, just delicious. It's it's light in body, as a Pinot should be, but it's got so much flavor that it would really. It's even got smoke on it. Actually, now that I now that I think about it, and kind of like a a gamey red meat flavor to it. It's very interesting for a little little old Pinot. Drink it. Cheers. <laughs>